is one of the hunts I've been looking forward to the most, but also I've been losing the most sleep over. My Uncle Larry, who you've seen on past hunts, back when we were doing On Your Own Adventures, roll the clip. He's got blood streaks. <laughs> well, I'm gonna flip the coin, and the winner gets to pick if he's shooting first or second. There you go, that's fair. Heads. Ooh, I gotta shoot first. There you go. <laughs> uh, he has been dealing with serious health issues for the last 12 years. He has mantle cell lymphoma, very aggressive form of lymphoma, and he went in six years of experimental chemo treatment at the MD Anderson Clinic in Houston. And they said, look, you can't stay on this for any longer because it's so damaging to your body so they put him in another six-year program uh, those of you who know how chemotherapy affects you you hear the term neuropathy so he's got neuropathy in his feet so bad he really can't feel his feet anymore last year he was supposed to go on this hunt with Matthew my son same unit same everything but about a month before that his doctors were so worried about what the chemo had done to his heart that they said you're not going elk hunting and Wyoming has this really cool program where if you can't make a hunt because of some certifiable health reason, you can apply to have the tag given to you the following year. So he went through all that paperwork and he was awarded the tag for this year. Since then, in April of this year, he had a heart attack. Two weeks ago, he had what he calls a mini stroke. He had a, a serious stroke a few years ago. So. Definitely the hunt I've been looking forward to, like I said, but also the one that I toss and turn at night wondering how do we find an elk in a location that Larry's gonna be able to get to because I'm not letting him carry a pack. I'm not marching him up some steep inclines when he just had a stint put in a few months back and he just had a small stroke two weeks ago, so. Larry, you don't know it yet, but you're keeping your butt right here in the truck while I go and walk and hike and find a bull. And I know how bull-headed he is. He'll be like, oh no, I'm coming with you. He is as funny and as lighthearted as anybody you're gonna meet. And I hope everybody has a friend or an uncle like Larry and you take him out out kind of. Mr. Larry Stickler standing right there. Oh, how did you guys land in this stuff? very carefully i see him coming in there like this i just we didn't see the ground until we hit the treetops <laughs> what's uh, this that's all my clothes my friend all right yes. do you have your tag oh the tag if you don't lose that blue thing out in the back there we we got a tag that says you can it's, shoot a six by six to a seven by seven lesser Probably not. No lesser elk? No lesser elk. Okay. Okay, messages. So what do you do here? Every time I touch it. Bozeman this 12 hours ago and we rented this Airbnb and the owners are on vacation they said here's your passcode and if you have any problem call my mother and passcode is not working so we text mom and mom says that's the same passcode I got <laughs> so um, we have a couple options we break into the house and get the police here and show them all the emails we have that we really did rent this house. Or we sleep in the truck, or we go find a motel, but the interstate is closed because of the, de the blizzard. And we didn't bring any of our camping gear, so 
We don't have any tents or sleeping bags. This is a, on a scale of one to 10, how much of a show is this? This is a typical 11 for us. <laughs> um, everywhere we go. Something, Welcome to our world. Something happens pretty much every time we go somewhere. Every time. I think it might happen. But the inside's gonna be locked now. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're in. Hey, uh, We're in. <laughs> Chris Trax and Randy Newberg uh, sleep over here, huh? Well, Larry, huh? last time we stayed in a wall tent and you complained that the wind flapped on the tent all night. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'd rent us a log cabin. Your phone light's on. Well, you didn't shut it off? No. Oh. This, these electronics is too big, too, too much for me. Oh. So we're getting organized tonight and we're letting the blizzard pass. In the morning we're gonna get up and have coffee and donuts. And then we're gonna go kill yeah. an elk. What time do we gotta get up? About nine or ten? Probably. Blizzard's not blizzard's supposed to be go. done till ten. Well that's what I say. I can have it takes me an hour and a half for coffee because I I gotta have my protein in one cup. I gotta have my fiber in the other cup, and then I can have a good cup of coffee. <laughs> I got more damn problems than Carter got liver pills. Really? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna okay, go get the rest I, of my I'm stuff. Gonna, I, I'm gonna get my uh, meat hauler in the my bedroom. Okay. There. All right. Here's to the party. May be merry, huh? I don't know, maybe it, <clears throat> we'll get there by noon. Usually I blame it on the camera guys for being so slow. Larry forgot his vest. What are we going to do with you? I don't know. That's all my this stuff. Is your here, my is up there. Mitts and hooky. Yeah. Ready? You know, Larry, last time we were filming you in 2010, yeah. the camera guys pulled me aside and said, that guy stops in the middle of every sentence. You got to tell him he got he has to finish the sentence. I said, well, that's because he's getting ready to swear. swear. And, and Mary told him <laughs> told him he can't swear, he can't so swear. he stops. Yeah, they they couldn't edit or so could they? No, that'd be a pretty long haul. That'd be a long haul, wouldn't it? <coughs> yeah, that'd be. <laughs> It's just getting daylight. We would have been here sooner, but camera guys wanted to stop and take pictures of mule deer along the way, so we're a little late. But uh, Larry's ready to go. He looks like it. He's got his coffee. Can't hardly wait to dump him. Yeah. You say, uh, Dale said, what, today? To, by noon. By noon, Dale. So, said, I mean, I said let, lunch. let's get him. Huh? Lunch. Oh, lunch. Okay. Yeah. I don't and and I, eat a, I, I, I eat a late lunch. Oh, oh, oh. See, here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Larry is not hard good. Between his the promises I made to his family and his doctors. Oh my god. This gosh. is I've got him tethered here to the truck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only allowed to release the tether if he has to walk out somewhere to shoot an elk. And then he's only allowed to carry nothing more than a rifle. There's seven bulls right there. This wheel right here. Right in the middle of the screen. There's seven of them. There's seven. One, there one will kind of hid in the ditch there. We'd have to cross some private to get there. So. Can't do it. Mm -mm. Got to get it over here, probably, huh? Yeah. 
Well, far different situation than last year when Matthew had the tag. The area we're hunting here, we're putting this huge, heavy duty power line in right through the heart of it. Just when you think you got the slam dunk and that everything's figured out, you get a curveball and you gotta start from ground zero. So, here we go. You see where this drainage goes down here, Larry? Yeah. Matthew killed his bull right down there about 700 yards from here. So you don't think we should go there and wait? I'm not going to go there and wait. <laughs> I can see everything there. <laughs> We've scoured this as good as we can. We're going to hike back to the truck, drive all the way around and try to glass up in here because I think they're if they're bedded, they're going to bed on these lee slopes, side, which huh? we can't see from this side. Yeah, well, obviously they're not here, so they must be there. Must be, have so to be. So let's get it, let's get it done. They're in a good position to look out, really, the ones up on the back there. Three quarters mile, not a problem. I, I just don't, I can do it. Get another Hershey kiss in me, and maybe two. <laughs> if you think there's well, a way. before we do it, the first thing I'm gonna do. What? We're gonna stay on this road and I'm gonna go until my GPS says we're exactly north and past okay. the north and mm -hmm. south. Because that, that BLM boundary runs from the north to the to south. The south. And we want gotta be east on the, or, yeah, east, east, east of that. side of that. So we're gonna wait and we're gonna go until we're absolutely there and I'm gonna triangulate. And make sure that it's correct yeah. before we hoof it up there. Three quarter mile. Yeah, okay. But you got to make sure it's one you'd shoot. Well, I... I don't know. Maybe you'd be you pissed off if I walked up there and I... said no. Huh? And then you look at him again. <laughs> on his passenger side, on the back, the last time, the fifth point, is broke off. Well, I don't know if I want one like that. He's already crippled. <laughs> well, let's do that. Let's just remember where they're at and we'll go look around some more. Yeah, we'll go look around a little bit more, come back, and you know, sometimes you maybe, give it. Maybe you give you'll in. walk down the hill. You know. I'm crawling up these ridges here and just glassing down in these basins. Hoping that I can find an elk that Larry can get to, find a good one. I found six, but there's definitely much better elk in here. I've been harassing him and teasing him that, oh, you should go shoot that one, but nah, not today. So, I'm just gonna climb over these next little ridges, look in there, and if we don't see anything, I'll hike back to the truck, go do the same thing, keep doing that. Do we find a good one? I think it's about time to hit the trough with the sandwich or so. I'll be darned. Yeah. Huh. Huh. What's going on is we got a group of elk out here. How many is there on there? There's seven of them. One spike and six branch antler. Oh, yeah, but last year... Right up on the top there, huh? Yeah. yeah. Last year when we came in here, uh -huh. the road was really bad. 
and it was a dry year. And I just walked up to the corner there to look at it, and it's really, really bad this year. I, I don't want to tear someone's road apart, no, and I don't want to get pound. stuck. You're in big trouble. Yeah, a bunch of my as I saw that. There's 34 bulls right there. 34 bulls. Look in there. Gee, what? It's the biggest herd of bulls I think I've ever seen. I thought it was oh, cows and bulls. They're all bulls. Look at them strung out there. They all just jumped the fence. You can see they're moving. That's a six point. That's huh. a six point. Yeah. But you know what? There's not a lunker in there. Huh? I don't see a lunker in there. Yeah. All right, so yeah. this group over here that has seven, there's three bulls in there that are bigger than any of these bulls over here. Five. Ooh, that's a pretty nice one there. You see this rock right over here, Larry? Yeah. Right up there, just 120 yards, that bigger rock. Uh -huh. If we get up there, we'll have enough elevation. We can see everything. So I'm going to go grab my pack yeah. and the rifle. Yeah. Right now they're in a little pocket that's private that we can't hunt. If they go that way, they're in the state. See, they're in this little pocket right here. They're, they're in a checkerboard surrounded by a public. <laughs> they probably know that. Probably. Would you shoot one of those two? Yeah, I'm going to shoot either one, but I'd, I'd, I'd prefer the... The left one of the two? Yeah. He smokes. <laughs> Crazy, huh? This group of seven up here, we could get to them on that I other know. road. That's I know, but they're little. Yeah, they're. Yeah, that's what I thought. But well, well, we, we came in here and we saw what? What did you count? Seventy-nine bulls and a couple hundred cows. Larry's being particular. The two that he wants to shoot are three miles away. And we'd never get there in time. And I promised his doctor, his cardiologist, his oncologist, his ophthalmologist, <laughs> his orthopedic, Foot everybody. I, I promised them all, plus his wife and two daughters, I wouldn't let him walk three miles. There you have it, folks. Yep. Day one from Wyoming. Lots of elk, we finally found them. Now we just need to figure out the strategy to get Mr. Medical History here a chance to shoot one of them. Thank you.